Welcome to this tutorial designed for those who are transitioning from a Windows computer to a Mac. And I'm going to do a series of these. I'll try to keep them five minutes or less. And the idea with these is just to kind of give you an overview and help you build and get more comfortable with your Mac computer if you are new to the Mac. Um, right now I've logged into my Mac and um, I see something very similar to what I was used to in Windows. Um, it, it's the desktop. And if you um, over here, I see my hard drive and I see, you know, a couple of documents that I've created in a folder. So just like we did in Windows, we can basically clutter up our desktop with files and uh, folders. Now in Windows, those icons tended to, to appear over here on the left hand side of the screen. On the Mac, they by default are over on the right hand side. With Windows, we would always come down here to the lower um, left-hand corner to hit the Start button to find applications. With the Mac, your control or your main um, menu, which is called the Apple menu, is up here in the upper left. And when you click on it, you'll see things like About This Mac, which will tell you more about the Mac, that your you know, operating system and memory and that type of thing. System preferences, very similar to Control Panel. Um, and we'll go through that in detail in a, another video. Um, these other things I'm not going to worry about right now. Force Quit is very similar to when we would, in the Windows environment, we'd hit Control Alt Delete and then go to Task Manager and you know select the the program that's not responding and um, you know kill it. Same idea here. And then the Sleep, Restart, Shut Down, Log Off. Very similar to what we saw on the Windows machine when we would click the Start button. With the Mac, you always have this menu bar up here. No matter what application you're in, you've got um, a menu bar. Um, one of the important pieces, if you're used to using our network uh, drives, which are commonly known, the, known as the L and M, if you still want to connect to those, you can do that through Connect to the Server. And we'll talk about how to do that later. Um, over here is kind of a status bar area. You um, will see icons representing different programs that you may have loaded. Um, this is for your sound and you can adjust, I'm sorry, this is for your Wi-Fi and if you're connected to Wi-Fi you can select APU Wi-Fi. The one next to it is for sound and because I'm on a laptop, you know, it's showing me that my battery is charged to 98% the time and if I click on it I could show it as analog and go into preferences. Um, here I see my name because I'm logged in and I could log into other people. You can see other people who have logged into my computer and this guy right here, the search. Um, this is Yosemite so the search uh, box looks a lot different um, in Yosemite than in previous versions but the spotlight search is really nice because if I want to start up Microsoft Word I can just type in Word and it will search my computer to look for that application, which is very similar to what we could do with the Windows machines. When you click the Start button, you could type in the application or the document that you were wanting to use. So again, it's kind of the world of opposites. On the Windows machines, we would click the Start button that was would be down here in the lower left. With the Mac, we click the magnifying glass up here at the top. And then this last um, option over here um, is kind of cool if you use a lot of the app, uh, Apple's native apps. Um, it will show you your calendar and the date and you can set it up for stocks and the weather. Um, I personally don't use that a lot, I, but I wanted to show you that it is there. The last thing I want to show you in this video is down here, so I move my mouse. This is called the docking station. And applications that um, I want to access quickly, I can put them on the docking station. And when your Mac um, was set up by the computer techs, they put the main applications down here on the docking station. And I have mine currently set to hide when I'm working. So if I need something, I just move my mouse down and I can see the different ones. Now you'll notice that underneath certain ones, there's a little black dot. That tells me that that program is open. Now Finder will always have a dot. You can't close Finder. 
um, but like for Google Chrome or Camtasia, those are um, currently running. And if I wanted to close one, I could right mouse button click and quit. So that is it for this video. Um, I'm going to do some additional ones, but that's just kind of a real quick overview of the main pieces of uh, the desktop for the Mac.